All right, this video is for all the people who are trying to do, who are trying to set their, ah, oh, my dog just escaped, <laughs> uh, who are having trouble setting the timing on their 4.3 liter V6 Chevy Vortec engine. I looked on YouTube, I couldn't find no videos. I looked for, on the internet, I spent like two, three hours trying to figure out because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Who, when you look at the crank on the at the harmonic balancer, you see one, two matches, which is ridiculous. Uh, which is ridiculous. You know, I'm, I'm here looking like that. That's not normal. What the heck? Which one do I line it up to? And you line it up to right there. You know what? You line it up to right here, not the first notch, but the second notch right here. And it's uh, kind of like uh, sideways, like it's not perfectly straight like this one. And it's going to look weird when you're moving it. But once you line it up over here, you'll see that it'll be straight. It'll actually look straight. And this uh, this notch, the first notch, actually lines up further down here. But since, you know, I can't jack up the car, the van, I can't look at it. And I can't see it. So I just did it like that. Line this notch up here. And then uh, I did the distributor. And that's another thing I couldn't find how to do the distributor so battery's dying okay so real quick um, the reason I had to do it was because uh, my distributor right here is stripped out it's stripped out right so I tried to use a JB Weld bad idea I mean it worked but that was actually the lazy way and another thing is the Dang it. The shaft. You hear that? The shaft is bad. It doesn't rotate freely. And this one, on that one it did. So I got it real cheap at the junkyard. 30 bucks. With the igniter. So, what I found online from looking at pictures and, you know, doing my own deduction. Is on the, distri on the, on the shaft of the distributor. You have this mark right here. This orange um, line. And what you would do is line up the this dimple with the mark. You would line it up like so. Alright. And then you'll have, when you line it up, I'm going to set this down real quick. When you line it up, it's going to look, and then when you look at the, the rotor, it's going to look like this. That's how you got to have, that's how it's going to look. See, it's lined up, and it'll look like that. See the way it's pointing? On the pictures that I saw online, you can't trust them. It shows that that the pointer, that the the the, the rotor tip would be lined up perfectly here with the with the cap mounting point, but it doesn't. And then when you put the rotor in, you need it, you need you need it to line up with right there where it says number six. Now when you first put it in, it's not gonna line up right away. It's not, and I tried. I kept pulling it out, trying to, to moving it around and everything. And I found that the distributor, once it goes in, it only sits one way. You can't pull it out and move the teeth around too much, because it won't sit flat, like how it's sitting flat now. It won't sit flat. It only goes in and sits flat only one way. You understand? Once you try, it. you guys will understand me. Once you try it, you'll see. Be like, all right, he's right. It only goes and sits in one one way. Now, after you set the timing on the crank, all right, lining up the second notch, not the first one, but the second notch with the guide at the top, you come in here, you take the distributor, you line up these line, the marks here, the dimple there with the line, you line it up the way that I showed you with the, with the rotor, how it would be pointing, and you slide it in. When you slide it in, you're going to see that it's a little off it's not sitting down that the rotor is not sitting down flush it's not going to be sitting down flush on the intake manifold I mean uh, on the plenum sorry on the intake plenum it's not going to be sitting flush so what you would have to do is what I had to do and I would try I would moving around and everything trying to get a sit flush so it could perfectly line up with the six what I had to do was go back out and turn the crank clockwise you only turn it clockwise never forget that only turn the crank clockwise and I had to turn the crank just a little bit 
for it to fall in and sit. For the real, for the distributor, I put in the screw so it would not, so it wouldn't pop out. Not all the way, but I put it in just to you know help it to hold it there. I turned the crank and the distributor dropped in perfectly. And to double check that the timing was right, that it perfectly lined up with the six, I went on the crank and set it at TDC again at top dead center. After I set it at top dead center, I came back inside. Well, this is on a van, on your GMC, on your Jimmy's, and uh, um, on your S10s, you know, you won't have to come inside, whatever. So I went, I looked at the distributor again, and I saw it was perfectly lined up. The rotor was perfectly lined up with the with the six right here that in the that little mark the six mark alright guys so that's how you set the timing on the 4.3 liter Chevy Vortec engine is actually pretty simple the simplest that I have ever dealt with to be honest very simple straightforward easy thing to do alright you guys need any help have any questions just let me know email me there's no problem this is Ralph the Lau out Peace out. Y'all bless.